Demonstrations and vigils are being held following Friday's not guilty verdict in the trial of former East Pittsburgh police officer Michael Rosfeld. The jury acquitted him on all charges in connection with the shooting death of 17-year-old Antoine Rose II. Over the weekend, community members organized demonstrations seeking justice in Rose's death. Some say the problem is with the laws surrounding the use of force by police. Local students are expected to walk out of their classes later this morning in protest over the verdict. Amy Wattis is live with how the Pittsburgh Public Schools are preparing and the superintendent's message for students and parents. Good morning, Heather. These walkout protests are supposed to take place here at the Allegheny County Courthouse and nearby at the City County Building. Now several local high school students as well as college students will be participating in these walkout protests to support Antoine Rose the second remember him as well as they want to demand justice for Antoine Rose the second and his family. Now today's protest may resemble the walkouts that took place across the country last March after the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Pittsburgh Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Anthony Hamlet says he respects the right of all students to peacefully protest and went on to say Pittsburgh Public Schools take seriously its responsibility to keep all students safe and secure. He says school leaders have been encouraged to work with student leaders to develop a plan that ensures students are safe while participating in these demonstrations. The district also coordinated support centrally to assist schools with difficult conversations that may arise with students as a result of the jury's decision. Superintendent Hamlet says students must have permission from their parents to participate in these demonstrations and must follow the district's early dismissal procedures. Any student who leaves the school without parent or guardian permission will receive an unexcused tardy or absence. Now on Facebook, the Thomas Merton Center posted that these walkouts will begin around 11 o'clock and then following that again at noon. We're live this morning. Amy Wattis, KDKA News on Pittsburgh CW.